exclusive. Um, what is Jesus' real name? Revelation 19.13. She said the thing wasn't you. out. We're going to read what his real name is. Sure, sure. Revelation chapter 19 and verse 13. You get it, David? Revelation chapter 19 and verse 13. And he was clothed with a vesture, dipped in blood. Who is that talking about, sis? What's the vesture dipped in blood talking about? His, 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 his clothing. Why is it dipped in blood? Bring it up. Coming back to do. What did we just read? To, to, uh, put them in captivity as they have to put uh, them in captivity to kill them with the sword that killed his people, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. My sister, Christ is coming back for vengeance. Christ is coming back for war. It's going to be a lot of killing when Jesus Christ returns. The true Christ. The black Messiah. So, sister, that's why it says his vesture is dipped in blood, okay? okay, okay. Read that from the top. Okay. And he was clothed with a vesture, dipped in blood. And his name is called. His what? His name is called. So, you asked about the name of yeah. Jesus, right? Yeah. His name is what? It's called the Word of God. The Word of God. You know what that means, sister? Yep. Hold on. We're gonna, I'm still touching on your first question. That means uh, uh, we have to be obedient to God's laws. That's how we know the name of Christ. Christ, Christ has many titles, sis. It says in that day we're gonna get we're gonna get the real name of our God. We just have titles right now. His name is the Word of God. It's like it's like a father saying this. It's like a kid going to his father, and he he might have the bravery to say, "Daddy, what, what's your full name?" He might say, "Dad, my name is Father to you. Do what I say. You don't need to know my name. You, you see what I'm saying? That's what God is telling us. We got to keep His law. That's His name. You understand, sir? Yes, I like that. I understand that. I appreciate it. So now the next question is. What's God's commandment? Give me through our 22 5, real quick. I'm going to show you. Okay, go ahead. All right? Because all that has happened to us is because we broke God's Now the next question is so, so I shall What's God's commandment? Give me through our 22 5, real quick. I'm going to show you. Okay, go ahead. All right? Because all that has happened to us is because we broke God's commandment. Right, right. You understand? It's because we broke God's commandment. Right, right. You understand? Yep, yep. God allowed the white man, the Arab man, to come and put a foot on our necks yep. still to this day. Yep, yep. to us is because we broke God's commandments. Right, right. You understand? What's your question, sis? Um, what's in Jesus' real name? Yes. 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 Christ, yes. Christ has many titles, sis. Okay. Um, what's in Jesus' real name? Yes. 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 Christ, yes. Christ has many titles, sis. Okay. Elder bishops of Great Millstone, honors as well to you, brethren, your fellow believers of this truth, of this ministry. Shalom on to you, for your sisters, too. You know. Yeah, it is the book of Jude, <clears throat> verse 24. Now, unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power of our Savior. Be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever, so be it. Giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bahaha Kodash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone. To watch over our souls. Shall warm to the Yakim who awaited our sincere and serious doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Macha Kodash. 
Second Peter chapter 1 verse 1 and 2 to you all. Stay strong, stay mighty. I'm the brother, the disciple Kosha Banyamir from the branch and great millstone Barbados. This is um the elder brother from Baltimore. His channel is Biblical Defenders. He doing a response to a UIC. This group, this is where I stopped watching them back in um 2013 because it came into the truth well the Lord called me woke me up in 2012 in November right and um, I, I tell this many times I was watching different groups the longest group I was watching was a, a UAC as the longest group I was watching I had already known the name of the Lord to the first group that I watched which was hosted David by Elder Barak. He gave us the name. He well, I learned the name of the Lord from him. But um, the video with Nate and Elder Banyami and break it down. The name of the Lord that was it fully cemented me that that was the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Right? I haven't stumbled up on great millstone videos yet. So I was watching all other groups. Is right, but I was watching this group the longest, and one of the officers in there said, "You could call the Lord near you play yogurt. It don't matter what you call the name of the Lord." That was a big red flag for me. You say right? that was a big red flag, and I, 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 I can't understand why. He, so when I pray, who am, who am I supposed to pray to? You understand? I, I was already doing that in the world. I was praying, but I didn't know the name of the Father. No, he's going to be gone, the Son. I didn't know it. So then the Lord woke me up and gave me his name. When you go to the book of Exodus, right? When you go to the book of Exodus, what's that? Abraham called on the name of the Lord. He built an altar and called on the name of the Lord. Huh? So the name of the Lord is back in the earth. We don't have to wait till the kingdom because in the kingdom you will not be under reproach to be to be uh calling on the name of the lord is yes, right but it's exodus the third chapter exodus three right and 13 and moses said unto the most behold when they come unto the children of israel and shall say unto them, The power of your fathers have sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? Just like what that woman did. She wanted to know the real name of who the world calls Christ. So is it as Moses was a prophet and we were sent and he was sent out? It's the same thing same way we our prophets, disciples, teachers, we being sent out, and the name of the Lord has to be proclaimed when we are being sent out. Because, like how the woman asked, "What was the true name?" We must be able to give this woman the proper answer, or I'm sorry, give the elect the proper answer of who to call on in these last days the lord has woken us up and given us this truth and it started with his name what is his name what shall i say unto them what shall i say unto them should we should we be folded lord what should we do and the power said unto moses i am that i am and he said thus shall thou say unto the children of israel i am i'll send me unto you and the power said moreover unto moses Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord, Yahweh, power of your fathers, the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, and the power of Jacob, have sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial, or my, or my memorial unto all generations. You understand that? So, not verse fourteen. What Jesus he says, a higher, a higher. No. 
it goes to he is this is my name verse 15 is it this is my name forever the lord god of your fathers which translates into what yahweh 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 right thus shall thou say unto the children of israel the lord look at here that like, is 30 68 Yahweh, but they got Yehovah, then a V. Strong's H 3068. Yehovah. Yehovah. Right? It says Yahweh, it says Jehovah, which is Yahweh, the Jewish national name of God. The Jew, the, 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 the Jew national name of God. All right? The proper name of the one true power. All right, the proper name of the one true power. Yahweh. Right. How many times is this in the, in the scriptures, Lord? I forget how. Um, first shows up in the book of Genesis the second chapter right and the fourth verse these are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord Yahweh power made the earth and the heavens so that's the first time the Lord's name shows up in the book of Genesis the second chapter in the fourth verse right I'm just curious um Seven thousand eight hundred and thirty six times. I got the lowercase Lord. I wanted to get the um all in capital letters, right? But nevertheless, nevertheless, this is my name forever. <clears throat> so, what this group does, it causes confusion. This group causes confusion, and that's the reason why he left. And the time I heard that you could call him Lord's name, you'll play yogurt. Yet their brand, they put so much into their brand, the clothing, the the the, the um the clothing line, the 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 brand of what you will see, they put on the website to sell X Y Z. They put a lot of emphasis on it. They even tell you you gotta change your name. I think they use Isaiah 44 on down, right? So you hear about this is some wherever, wherever Ben Israel, you know what I mean? Because they're changing the name. So you trying to tell me the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, we can't call his proper name and the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son. We can't call their proper names. No. The Adam and Lattes up, but says something here, right? He says something here that I did, right? Titled Hopefully Lick 14. No, this is a video he did from IOAC Follower Sears, right? Let me hear what he has to say. Let me hear what he has to say. And it was a comment made, I think it was made last night. I'm going to read the comment and then we'll go into it, you know, briefly, just a few scriptures. Now, this is from the video. Bishop Nate is going off about the new covenant, all right? And this is a video that was done the other day. I did this video here about Bishop Nate saying we're under the new covenant, <clears throat> which he was going off on that. And this brother, hopefully, like 14, this is what he says. He says, I used to follow... IUIC, so he was definitely an IUIC follower. It says they bashed you guys, calling you everything but human beings. It has to be the spirit that I didn't listen to none of that and only listen to you men. Didn't Bishop Nate come under the same school as the GMS apostles? 
So he does know, but is purposely choosing to not teach the right way. That means he's compromised. I couldn't be Bishop Nate. Every day I will be terrified because deep down I would know I'm going against the teachings and leading people away from the truth. As a hopefully elect, I hope it's a good sign that I can see through this. Thank you and all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. All right, and yeah, I second that. All praise to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And good for you, brother, that you was able to see and get away from Bishop Nate. <clears throat> and that's really the reason why we, you know, the scriptures, uh, the um, the Heavenly Father, you know, in the scriptures, he had it where those that are among false prophets should come out from among them. When you get the notion that your teacher that you've been learning from is not teaching correctly, you have to leave and separate from them or unless you be destroyed right along with them. Bottom line. All right. And I, and I can go to a scripture real quick and, and bring that up. You have to come out from among these people. You can't stay in the school learning from false prophets and hope to be delivered. And our brother said he he can see or he believes that Bishop Nate was uh, is compromised. OK. And we've been telling you that for a long time. Let's see. Is it uh second John one and nine? We've been telling you for a long time that something is not right over there. And that's the reason why we make the videos, all right? Other than obedience from the Heavenly Father, we make videos against these other, not just Bishop Nate and IUIC, but against other groups as well about the false doctrines they teach so that you can be in the know and that you might not be destroyed with them. <clears throat> now, if we go to 1 John 1 and 9, it says, whoever transgresseth and abideth not in the, adoption, in the doctrine of the anointed hath not the most high. He that abideth in the doctrine of the anointed, he have both the Father and the Son. And as far as we can see, IUIC doesn't abide in the doctrine of the anointed because Yahweh Shai said that all things I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. That's 100% true. They say, Bishop Nate says, nobody has 100% truth. Also, he said that they have, if I'm not mistaken, maybe he didn't say they have 100% truth, but I heard him say nobody knows everything. He tried to trivialize it by saying we saying that we know everything that's not what we said we said you gotta be careful um i want to get to the point where the other said there right like i said this group is united in christ the title alone is telling who they are united with the word christ goes to the word christos is a greek term who taught us that name Esau, edom christ jesus to christ Right? You're supposed to be Hebrew Israelites coming back to your nationality. Is it the God we serve of that same origin? Luke 168, the Lord God of Israel. Right? But yet you want to call him a Greek uh, title? Does that make any sense to you? That's what you got to do. I, try, I can't remember the exact marking. The other said it, but that's what I did. That's what I did. We have 100% truth, which is how was I? Or the name, the true name of the Father, should I say? But Yahweh Shah said that that well, let's go there. John seventeen and six. It says, "I have manifested Thy name unto the men which Thou gavest me out of the world." How could you get around that? How could you get around that? Yahweh Shah gave us; He has manifested the Lord's name big man whom the Lord chose out of the world he said that this is the father's name boom how can you get around that how can you get around that but you know I get to that marking man hey, among those teaching in error alright the scriptures demand you to come out like this brother did and that's a good thing that that brother left you know or that he stopped following IUIC because I don't think he was ever in that group but many brothers that's in GMS now started out watching Bishop Nate and IUIC. Some of us started watching other people at first. And then we found out about the apostles. So you have to do the same thing. You cannot stay. You cannot stay. Okay? And that's not That's simple. That's what I did. That's what I did. That's what I did. Because this group was causing, this group and many other groups was causing a lot of confusion. Hey, 
You understand? A lot of confusion telling you the name in law don't matter. You understand? This ain't making any sense, brother. So what you had to do, I even know my knees and they pray to my father in heaven. I already knew the name of the father and the name of the son, true Elder Barak of the house of David. Mahawaka, he called the name of the Lord too. Ban lawyer, ban lawyer. You say what ban lawyer a lot with priest Daniela, but priest Daniela know He's a shell of a man you was back then, big man. Real thing. You may, you may be a, uh, in this truth longer than me, but certain things I seen when it kind of you. You the shell of a man when you was with Ban Lawyer, brother. You didn't take up the matter when Ban Lawyer passed, big man, or continue with that fairy, uh, with that fairy word, brother. You became more world friendly with this doctrine, big man. Is that? Right? You got called a spirit of spirit, big man. Watching priests of Bach, right? And then they stumble up on the brothers in Trinidad. You understand? They stumble up on the brothers in Trinidad. I tell you what, he was praying. I asked the Lord to give me the raw, this my exact words. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, give me the raw truth. Don't hide nothing from me. Please. I didn't say but Bob Koshaw me please. They said please go they know the Hebrew word for please at that time. They said please give me the raw truth you have about Hashem you have a shot, real thing. And I stumble on upon the, the brothers in Trinidad. Bakar was there before he was uh kicked out. I saw him and the brother Bara. Is right? And then I saw the brother Raib. Who was martyred in 2016 for this truth, man? And I sent him a link, a, 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 a link to his um, channel, man. Not a link, a question to his channel. Oh shoot! How could I forget? But it's in Jamaica, Makolak and um, Shapar, big man. How could I forget those brothers? I, I linked me Makolak and, and um, Shapar, but mostly Makolak. You see? But the brother Raib <coughs> is who um, started teaching me every Wednesday online class. And he had online class with the brothers over there. And then he gave me the link to the Apostles of Great Millstone. And from there it was, this is it, big man. This is it. This is the truth, big man. And these men didn't hold back. These men gave me the full understanding, big man. And continue to do so. What the scripture says, um... Hold a minute, man. Read the script this year, man. Um, Shun to declare unto you. Let me see if we get that quick, man. So, is that the one? Shun to declare unto you. I think it's in Acts, you know. To declare unto you. Come on, man. Acts chapter 20 and verse 27. Acts chapter 20. Let me start at 26. Wherefore, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Mosai. This is what the Apostle Paul did, and this is what he made a great millstone doing, big man. You understand? This is what they're doing. I have not shunned. Strong's G5288. Hupostello. Hupostello. To withhold under, out of sight. To cover or shrink. Figuratively to conceal, <clears throat> reserve, draw, keep back, shun, withdraw. The, the men of Great Millstone, Stone with the Headman on them, did not do that, big man. They taught the raw truth. You understand? The Great Doctrine, when that came out, big man, never forget it. Never forget it, big man. 
they didn't shun, they, they broke it down. They broke, they boom, piece by piece, they broke it down. And they got the understanding to draw back, let down, lower to withdraw of a timid person, of those who from timidity hesitate to avow what they believe. <laughs> These men do that, big man. They didn't hesitate. Right? <clears throat> to shrink from declaring to conceal the symbol. So the men of great men still didn't do that. They told you the raw truth. But this group here always causing confusion. Always causing confusion, big man. The scripture says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Proverbs 18, verse 10. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Which means you have to know the name of the Heavenly Father and only begotten Son now, big man. To be saved, especially during the time of Jacob's trouble, brother, when you get put in that concentration camp or in that prison cell, big man. When Danny was thrown in the lions, then who name did he call on? Huh? When shut up, Misha and Bendigo was thrown in the in the fiery furnace. Who name did he call on, big man? More saying, Christ bless you, fucking idiot. Stop telling lies to the people, man. Huh? The Maccabees brothers. Huh? When, when, who, was, was it Judith? When Judith was being framed because she didn't want to sleep with him, with, 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 with them two wicked elders. Who needed she call on, big man? Huh? Wanna make God, wanna make, wanna God repent, big man, or hey. Let me get out one last preset, boy. I think it's short, short. I didn't want this to be so long, but it is what it is. Jeremiah 48. Come on, what are doing? Be a cat, big man. Jeremiah 48, and verse 10. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord, Yahweh, deceitfully. And cursed be he that keepeth back his soul from blood. So, cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. You telling the woman, keep the laws, keep the laws. All when the men in there lined up, big man, dread laws, all kind of cat. But I want to make any sense. Romans the second chapter tells you if you can teach somebody don't commit adultery, you should be committing adultery. In other words, if you can be teaching laws, you should be adhering to the laws, big man. Wanna just cause confusion, but you see that's 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 for the the um two thirds, you know what I mean? Right? Wanna bring it out confusion is for the two thirds, the elect ain't gonna be drawn into that man. This is says my sheep hear my voice and they know them and they follow me so you're in the voice big man when they when they ain't the voice when they ain't the voice when they, you're not the voice of the lord big man when they seek you want to own glory anyhow man shalom man.